a case of uh, total uh, zonula dehiscence during the surgery the capsular bag had come out leaving behind chunks of uh, uh, nucleus epinucleus and cortex the hyoidal phase was uh, initially appeared to be intact so i could easily remove the nuclear pieces this is a case of phaco suction uh, done under topical anesthesia i had uh, infused anterior chamber with few drops of uh, 1% lignocaine uh, without disturbing the vitreous in a big way i could remove the uh, most of the large nuclear pieces uh, note that the uh, the fluidics is very slow here there was certain amount of vitreous which was present when i in the meantime i asked for a vitrectomy probe i could uh, do a certain amount of uh, sponge vitrectomy of the prolapsed vitreous i prepared myself to uh, implant a retro iris uh, iris claw lens and i did two uh, it's a soft eye but with sharp uh, mvr uh, blades we can easily do a, um, a 90 degrees away uh, mvr entries at the limbus and these are short tunnels at the limbus directed towards the center of the pupil rather than going horizontally to the iris so that enclavation becomes easy with uh, uh, visco expression i could remove uh, every bit of uh, uh, cortex that's there uh, in the anterior chamber now i have a vitrectomy probe in my hand uh, i did a very gentle uh, slow vitrectomy uh, i could uh, still see a certain portion on the right side a certain portion of uh, hernation of the vitreous uh, i could do anterior vitrectomy you see that the lens particles are not there Uh, very gentle uh, infusion of fluid into the anterior chamber just to maintain the uh, anterior chamber and avoid collapse the vitreous uh, in the suction and the angle region was gently sweeped with uh, 27 gauge cannula introduced through the uh, side ports you can see that and now these filaments can be excised with the vitrector uh, so that the uh, pupillary zone and the internal lip of the tunnel is free of vitreous herniation a peripheral arterectomy is done by very slow cuts uh, uh, aspiration cut aspiration cut is what we what is ideal uh, iris claw lens uh, the slits are identified sometimes uh, slits are partially made or not made so we'll have uh, just identify but gently tapping it to see that it opens up uh, very heavy pressure should be avoided otherwise uh, the tension in the haptic can permanently get lost lift the uh, haptic up uh, so that you see the edge and exactly in the middle of the ridge that it produces in the iris you gently press down with uh, uh, a 27 or 28 gauge cannula you can see it being taken back uh, behind the iris pupil ideally should be uh, smaller in this case pupil is not constricting beyond this but ideally i would have preferred a 3 to 4 mm pupil and uh, enclavation is done on the back of the iris uh, Uh, on both the sides very gently uh, the anterior chamber is cleared of the viscoelastic by very gently irrigation aspiration the fluid inflow and fluid outflow has to be balanced there's a some amount of uh, uh, debris in the anterior vitreous which is mostly uh, pigment and uh, a heme that is uh, uh, removed with the vitrectomy uh, on the back of the lens uh, ac is cleared up and then ensured that the uh, is water tight and any particles of lens matter is removed there is a fine filament of uh, uh, vitreous there which uh, we just ensure that it is not in the uh, tunnel uh, fibrin glue is applied and uh, the conjunctiva antennae is closed over the wound and sweeped this is a water tight wound the eye doesn't have to be bandaged there is no uh, retrobal bar or parabulbar anesthesia so the eye can start seeing it we can start medicating thank you